everybody. Um, today I'm making this video to show you guys an experiment I did uh, last couple days. And the experiment that I chose for this week was to see if I could build a very, very cheap uh, solar oven from things you can just go and buy at like the grocery store or the dollar store. Uh, so the first thing I did, I went to the dollar store and purchased this solar um, window windshield reflector. And obviously it was a dollar. And I also picked up two of these poster boards, and these were two for a dollar, so that's a, even a better deal. And I picked up some chicken skewers, a uh, hundred of them is a dollar, and some clips. And then I had to go to Walmart because they didn't carry what I was looking for at the dollar store. These uh, oven bags, you get five oven bags for, I believe it was two dollars and 30 cents or somewhere real close to that. So I will show you my first experiment. And okay, so I took my six chicken skewers and I basically just made a, kind of a, a makeshift uh, square box frame here. And now I'm going to go ahead and grab my uh, windshield uh, reflector and just kind of make a bowl okay, out of so it. Okay, so I've taken my clothes pins, fastened to the chicken skewers and my uh, solar sun shield here, so I have a bowl. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take my black piece of uh, poster board here and go ahead and sit it in there. Okay, then I'm uh, ready for the food. Okay, it has been a half hour and I checked the temperature and it's 90 degrees outside and uh, looks like uh, it's still partly cloudy, uh, a few clouds passing by here and there. And let's see what the temperature is on the inside of the bag. Oh yeah, as you can maybe see, I did put a little rock on there just to make sure the bag didn't blow away. So it is kind of windy today. Okay, so right now inside the uh, oven bag, it's 140 degrees 0.5. Okay, so that was my uh, first test of the uh, makeshift solar oven here. And um, it's been three and a half hours. The cookie flattened out, but it is still very, looks like uh, very oily. So it didn't really cook at all. But I'm not surprised because it only reached uh, about 140 degrees. Okay, as you can tell, the, the first one didn't go very well. Uh, 140 degrees is uh, not good to, to cook at at all, and the cookie was pretty nasty looking, and I, I certainly wasn't going to try and eat it. So um, the next day, which is today, I went ahead and did a little bit of changing. I took took the piece of uh, poster board and just made a little bowl out of it and inserted that into the bag, which uh, did make a big difference. And since I was doing that experiment anyway, I figured I would try another one kind of side by side. So I took some of these uh, nicer uh, window windshields, uh, sun blockers, whichever you want to call them. And these are, I think, about $4 a piece. I grabbed one for my wife's car, one for my car. And also grabbed our slow cooker pot. And hopefully I don't break the lid here. I mean, it's already black, ceramic, absorbs heat really well, and the lid is fairly heavy to keep the heat in there. So uh, let me go ahead and show you that experiment, and we'll see how that went. Okay, so here is my second attempt at the uh, couple dollar solar oven here. So instead of the last one that I tested, which had the a black poster board underneath on the outside, I now made a tray stuck that inside the oven bag and uh, hopefully this one will work a little better and it is 12:30 in the afternoon and it is 93 degrees outside with very little clouds so we'll uh, see how that one goes and I'm also gonna well let me just check temperature first so this one's actually been outside for I don't know five minutes or so and uh, Let's see where this is at. This is already at, why is it beeping? This one's already at 168 degrees, 
uh, which the one yesterday didn't get anywhere near there so hopefully 169 degrees so this one's already doing uh, way better so that's a good okay. sign. okay so I pan over to the other one I have going you can see there's a solar windshield cover on the bottom and one on the top here one for my vehicle and one for my wife's vehicle and on the inside here let's move it along hopefully you guys won't get all the glare I just stuck a crock pot in there black covered with glass and I'm hoping that this one will work as well but I'm not sure haven't tried it either and I can't really stick a temperature probe in there because it would kind of break the seal okay so the hour and a half mark has gone by and I hooked up the uh, temperature gauge to uh, this one here and we are actually most of the clouds have kind of gone by uh, it's not really hazy anymore I'm getting some decent sun and I'm already at uh, 186 and it seems to be slowly climbing so hopefully it's about 200 degrees in there by the time it settles down it's already 187 and um, I can actually smell the the cookie from the outside so it must maybe be leaking somewhere but it's still climbing it's at a 188 so all right let's check out the other one here okay so here's the other one excuse me and I just adjusted it I just kind of slid it over because it was kind of half sun already and now it's more angled towards the sun and both cookies look way better than they they did um, well than my my previous test so I think I'm actually headed in the right direction okay here is my test to see if I can't break 220 230 with uh, mirrors it looks like 223 it may be topped out all right let's see what this one's at open it up real quick All right, when I hit it open, it actually hit, I think it was like 212 was the highest, and it steadily fell down because I hit it open. Okay, so it has been two and a half hours. I believe both cookies are done. And uh, with reflectors, uh, mainly the mirrors, I was able to achieve uh, about 220 degrees on both. Okay, so as you can tell, uh, the second day testing went way better. Uh, the cookies actually cooked um, they were edible and I, I did eat them and uh, they were uh, cooked at 220 degrees with the help of the mirrors so I can tell the next experiment that I do I'm just gonna have to add probably mirror reflectors and I'll have to figure that one out um, you know as in like a four dollar mirror I'm gonna have to cut it up and not break it and see if I can do that or not so um, okay appreciate watching this video as always take care God bless.